<laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go back to see if I can go into his house. Or see where his house was. Before I move on. Oh, yeah. Here it is. So you came back to see me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Uh... Did you just walk me in a circle, man? My house. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting place. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sounds. Please pick up your sock. Okay. <laughs> Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it into your room. Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh, it's my favorite game show. So stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the cash. You got 20 G. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book? No, I feel betrayed. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. Oh, okay, this is the joke. And another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to my scenic. Well, welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy your enjoy and take your time. Let's go explore the kitchen then. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary, non-egg substance. Oh, sorry. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. What for? Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh hey, there's that dog. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Oh my god. Sans, I love you. <laughs> That's so funny because I do that to other people. <laughs> I have a sad trombone sound effect on my phone. And I do that. <laughs> That's awesome. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> oh, okay. Forget it. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the food is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Interesting. Left the trash can. Feel free to visit the empty thing time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, you can go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Not quite. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Alright, I guess we can go explore. Let's see. Pyrus's room then. <laughs> He has a race car bed, that's awesome. 
Hey, those are all attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. You know, it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down the long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> and you know you don't have skin in hair. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for th theatrical battle scenarios. Or theoretical battle scenarios. So, do I? What, how do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Uh. Oh, wait, he's talking about Santa. Okay, that sounded creepy at first. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Yeah, it's a pirate flag, man. Now I know what you're thinking. I want a human flag. I have a cool skeleton on it. But there happen to be plenty of human things that have skeletons on it, and they're all cool. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> well, we have skeletons in us. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book is... That next book is another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower account. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh, I wonder who that is. Computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Inside the closet, let's go for it. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. So, um, you've seen everything. You want to start hanging out? Begin hangouts. Yes. Okay, let's hang. Ten. Oh, I just played him again? Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without le several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for friendship. Mode. What is that circle? What is going on? Reel it in. Rally, I feel so informed. There's a radar? Oh, is that a... I guess that's like... Day, the day of the week. Population? Egg? Crime? Well, I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them to hang out. Hang. Human. I, the great virus, will hang out with you. Yes. Really? <laughs> Oh, that face. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put nice clothes on to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning. Yes. No! You planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. No. Your friendship power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Haven't you? What the? I, the great virus. I've never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will. That's because this is the first time you've done it. I can easily keep up with you. You see, 
I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold. Cool dude. He's wearing a hat. That's a great outfit. No. A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further, lest you find more secrets. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. The souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Is he wearing basketballs on his shoulder? I see, I see. You like caressing, caressing my biceps with a floating heart. It's like your shoulder, man. Your bicep would be further down, and you don't have muscles. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, what the? Who is that? You found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? It might be a plate of food, I don't know. Is it a rock? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's right. We have no idea. Though it appears to be spaghetti. It ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in an open cask. Then I cooked it by then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. He just takes a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Face is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah, bird. No. Wow, I broke the friendship meter. Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Um, I wouldn't go that far. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. Time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool with a little bit. You are a very nice person, and I'm glad we are friends. But I think you can reach your max potential. You live for more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Oh my god. You're getting the wrong idea. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss. I'm dying. Hey, da, 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 da. Uh, I was warned about him. I think. No, I was warned about Asgore. But you were trying to take me to him when you were trying to talk. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with him. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> cool. That was fun. Can I talk to Sansa? The door is locked. I must not. So stay tuned for. Oh, I guess we'll move forward then. I'm probably gonna stop the recording at the next day. A lot of this fog happens unconditionally.
Ooh. I should uh, save. I should. Okay, I'm still going to go until the next save point. That's fine. But I'm backtracking to the other one. Because I'm in a hurt box. Here we are. Alright, now we gotta make our way. Oh, I should have done that the other time. Bam. Can we go in this building? It's locked from the inside. <laughs> okay. Time to try this again. I guess I can't examine that stuff on the floor. Oh, hey. There's Sans. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, dude. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower, it repeats the last thing I've heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Alright, well, we'll talk to San Serif before we save it. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill these. Wanna come? Oh! Fine, I will. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? I kind of wish I knew what it was. Okay. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just out here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put woofy cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? We'll go with fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of fries. <laughs> so, what do you think? That's my brother. He's a cool dude. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah, uh, fine. Bon appetit. We tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and the ketchup bottle falls out of your food. Whoops! Ah, forget about it. <laughs> you can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree to tie this trash real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house at the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing this dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's a uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, that backstabbing doll. Sure. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh. 
Okay, that one too. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the, ex or the echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you flip the Can you flip the bill? Oh, if you insist. Just kidding. Really, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, so that just added like five more minutes to this recording. When I get back to that save point that I found them at, I'm a... No, oh, wait, that's the wrong way. Crud. When I get back to that save point that I found Sansar at, I will end the recording there. Seriously though, what up with the ice cubes that the thing was throwing? All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Let's hang out again sometime. Alright, anyway, that has been fun. Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. These shenanigans have been quite a bit of fun. But that is enough for now, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.